in this video, I am going to show you how we can add another video and put a transition between the two to the video that we already have in our timeline. So I've got one news clip, my sort of presenter in the studio, and I'm going to go to where that finishes. And I'm going to add another track. So if I right click and do insert video track, I get two video tracks. And I'm going to go to back to my media here. And I want to go to this Apollo 11 footage. So I'm going to drag this down and I'm going to make it just overlap a little bit. So what will happen now when I play is it will cut straight from one to the other. And actually it looks a bit funny because it's, it doesn't quite fit in the size and that's something else we need to change it in another video. But for now, um, I want to make a sort of a blend between the two. So to do that, I am going to go and add under the gallery a transition. And there are lots of different transitions I could choose. I could choose some blinds, I could have little bands. If you hover your mouse over them, you get a, um, a little preview. So you can choose whichever one you think is best for your news program. Uh, and as I say, there are lots and lots of different ones you could try. Uh, so I'm going to go with one of these 3D tumbles and I just drag it on and I drop it over the overlap. And if it doesn't quite fit, then you can hover your mouse over this little arrow and the hand appears and you can adjust the length of the effect. But it should automatically get the right length. So now we can test that by moving our playhead, pressing play, and seeing the effect. Okay, and that actually looks okay. I'm quite happy with that. Maybe if I'd made it last a bit longer, um, then it might have appeared a bit slower, might look a bit smarter. Um, if you want to, for any of your transitions, when you have it selected, if you go to properties, so let's say we're already on media, but I've selected my transition, I go to properties, then I can change some settings about it. So sometimes, and the, the settings are different for each different one, so sometimes you can change the speed or how it rotates. In this example, if I'd done a different transition, I might have different options in the properties. Okay, so that's how you add your transition. If you don't like your transition, then just, again, right click on just on the transition itself and just press delete. And now that transition's gone and you can try a different one. Back to gallery, and maybe instead we'll do some zigzag blocks. Drag and drop on, move the playhead, and preview it. Okay, so simple as that. All you need to do is you add another video track by right-clicking here and going to insert video track. And then you drag your second bit of movie onto that other track and then, I'm just zooming so I can see it a bit better, then make sure that your second movie overlaps the first one and then you can go to galleries, you can choose a transition, drag it on and you can play it to preview it. Nice and simple but really, really effective.